Hey, welcome back guys. This is Zone. I wanted to quickly go ahead and talk to you about two things I got in the mail. Finally. It's right here. This is the Warhammer 40k um, uh, Psychic Powers and whatnot for 6th edition. And it's going to be pretty cool. Just opened up here. This is smaller than I originally thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much bigger than this when I first got it. It's, you know, small in your palm. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. Nice little what, who can have what. Right here. Light's real dark. Real bright, I mean. That's kind of cool. This is kind of flimsy, actually. Um, if this part here was attached, I think this would be a lot stronger, but it's not. So. And this sort of comes out. That's not sure if that's good or bad, but I wonder how long it'll be till I lose it. And of course, here's all the powers. like this stuff is uh, prevention loss protected, you know, it's hard to open up. Sorry, that wasn't a camera. Now that you want to see me struggle with it, but basically this is all the powers. Anyways, this was such a small little portion, I didn't feel like it should be a uh, its own video for an out of the box. However, this right here if I can get this below the tripod the Dark Vengeance box set and all of its awesomeness really looking forward to this guy and this guy I will be playing Chaos Space Marines or at least Occultus in uh, the future um, so who knows how many of these I will buy I suspect that the they're going to start doing more with occultists or occultists in the future anyways um, because why not make a tyranid occultist group now that you have this or make more troops for this good lord you already have half them all done with the imperial guard sign nice new smell this one especially has that the little sticks people like to beat each other with Oops, there's other way. Or beat camera pieces. Close way here, quick. You can see here all the bike pieces. Heavy bolter and the um, Dark Angels. Terminator. I like how these guys are um, some pieces but not a whole lot however the joint still if you look at this I don't know how well you can see these it's pretty far but the joints here still with a you could take that off and exchange those arms and everything and be just fine I mean some of them are better this arm is pretty good for it this arm you could do fairly well this one here, because of the angle of it, might be hard. Oh, pretty cool looking. Definitely very nicely detailed, as you can imagine, with a new plastic kit from Games Workshop. Another box set. Obviously, we know what that goes to. This is a cloak for the Chaos Lord. Uh, it's very much like the old Terminator Chaos Lord uh, cloaks uh, from the old Chaos Lord uh, box set. Here's a Dark Angel cloak. Looks like it's the same. Now these Chosen here, I've actually got a thought on these Chosen. Um, my thoughts are that if you buy enough of these box sets, you get the chosen with the set you want of gear and then you sell or trade away the rest so while you may want the two weapon 
the two power claw ones. Someone else may not want those. So instead of trying to barter and bicker and trade, you know, back and forth on certain sites, to get that, if you bought five of these, that you can sell, I know what you're going to do with all the Dark Angels. They're sort of specific. But, I don't know, it's something to think about. Something I've thought about. If I do that, you'll see it in the future, I guess. Probably a strong likelihood. So if anyone wants Dark Angel, and they don't want the Chaos side, let me know and we'll hook up. I love the fact that these guys have shotguns. Oh, do you know how many armies could use shotguns that never had the miniature for? It's the simplest primitive weapon out there, and Games Workshop just can't seem to do it. Uh, Sisters of Bow can take troops, and the troops have shotguns. A lot of troops can be upgraded to shotguns for free. Um, and the shotguns aren't awesome, but they're 12-inch range, two shots. Well, that's insane. If you're firing a LAS gun or you're, you're firing a shotgun, there's not a huge amount of difference, except for the fact the shotguns are assault and the LAS guns are rapid fire. So they're assault too, which means, at least in the old editions, you can charge. Now, in this edition, you can charge. So that, that, that was what makes them awesome. You drop them out of a vehicle, charge, boom. Anyways, oh, and of course now, you know, with Snapshot being just as cool. Of course, that's either way with Rapid Fire or that. But. Very sweet two-handed weapon. Um, you know, I really see how well they parsed this out, like this right here. Um, I foresee this being... A huge bit spin like people could use I mean a plasma cannon that's another one of these stupid rare yeah it's a plasma cannon stupid rare miniature pieces you can never find um, certain armies were taking uh, uh, servitors with um, plasma cannons and I think there are certain ones that you could take like 16 17 plasma cannons on foot and then you could take uh, not Lehman Russes, but you could take tanks that had big guns, big templates, and that type of stuff. It wasn't IG. It was like uh, uh, Space Marines and Sisters of Bell, and I think there was a couple others that had this. And they basically take tech priests with uh, these things. Anyways, now you potentially could do that because you have plasma cannons. Now, I wouldn't want to buy 17 of these boxes, but check eBay. I'm sure they'll be there. So even if I don't use these as Dark Angels, I see an awesome conversion army potentially coming from that. Nice big bag of bases. All the bases this army needs, I'm sure. Small bag of dice. A little cheap on the dice, huh, Games Workshop? Can you make it a little bigger? More templates, just as important as always. A nice little quick reference. Mine's actually damaged. Look at that. Not that I'd... I'm dying to know what the first page of this is. Well, the first page is actually somewhat important. The first and last page are important. The inside is not as important. Here's something I wanted to check on. Okay, the cultists have uh, Imperial Guard stat lines, basically. Same thing with the Chosen. Hmm. Looking at all the stats, making sure they're the same, I wondered if they were uh, going to uh, give us a hint at maybe new uh, Chaos Space Marine stats. Nothing in there, at least. This is all sealed and put together. Of course, this is the little rule book. Normally, if I ever sell these online or whatever, whenever I have extras of these, because I tend to buy a lot of these box sets, I don't open this. But since this is my first of this set, I'm going to need this book anyways. 
for traveling. Okay, so now you have a quick reference sheet, so you don't need that extra book. So you have this right here as a book or as just a piece of paper that I'll get laminated and then have that inside my folder with my army. And here's all the basic assembly. This is a nice little extra book they didn't have to do. It's pretty cool. And the waff of a new book smell coming off this is amazing. Read this first. How to play. Shooting at vehicles. <laughs> This is guy kind of a, a high dollar. This is full color. This is pretty remarkable. If you were a new per player and you wanted to get into Warhammer 40k, this book is a very good choice. I would highly recommend this to anyone who is trying to get into. Um, 40k and doesn't know. I mean, how awesome is this? This basically gives you pictures of the battlefield. All the fluff that's not in this book, you can basically see here. It gives you diagrams. I mean, look at this. It shows you how to get your turbo boost, the vacuum boost, this guy falling back to his board edge. This is very clear. goes into the missions looks like it has its own missions actually kinda like that have to really look hard at these Anyways, guys, this is the new Vengeance box set. Of course, this has full color, and it's just the rules, not the fluff. If you guys like this video and want me to do more of it, just let me know, and I will uh, do more of these as I get them. If you are interested in um, subscribing, please subscribe, I guess I could say. I don't know what's going to go with that. But, um, yeah, look me up on Facebook if you like. Also, look below, uh, down below the links, you'll find a uh, uh, link to my uh, website. And it shows that I'm a painting service and talks about uh, what I do and how I do it and the policies I have there. All right, so have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.